Okay, today we're going to look at matrix functions in Excel. To do that, I've pulled up a couple of questions we used to pose when starting our structures, structural analysis course in order for our students to brush up on their matrix operations. There was a primer that went along with it, which, eh, depending on how you're accessing this video, I'll post along with it. I will assume that if you needed it, you've looked at that uh, primer, and right now all we're going to be functioning on is how to do these operations within Excel. When this video is done, I'm going to flip around and do the same tutorial on MathCAD so you can see the same operations in that environment. So I've opened up Excel and I've posted a question posed at the top dealing with three matrices, A, B, and C. Successfully, we're going to try to do these operations that have been requested. Okay, the first one, A multiplied by B, it's a trick question as the orders don't align and allow the operation to be done. I'll skip over that one. Obviously, if you're doing this on a similar assignment, uh, you would note that it couldn't be done and why and move on. So let's start in earnest then with the multiplication of matrix A and matrix C. I've laid out the spreadsheet here. So I've got my three matrices laid out. Uh, a is uh, highlighted in a, a yellow uh, B in green and C, kind of an orangey or peachy color. And so those are the three major matrices that we're going to be operating with. So down here, we want to do A multiplied by C. So the first thing we need to know is what is the order of the output going to be? So if A is a three by three and C is a three by one, we know that the output will be a three by one. So we need to highlight the entire area of the output, which I've now done here. So we're going to type in our function. So most functions within Excel dealing with matrices start with an M. So I'll go equals. When I press M, I see a number of functions that it's offering. In this case, we're doing multiply, matrix multiplication. So I'll type that in, multiply, open up my parentheses, and you see it wants the two arrays. Uh, that it's going to multiply. So the first array, matrix A, is here. Put in my comma, put in the second array, which is matrix C, over there, close my parentheses. And now's the trick. To get this array function to work, I need to not just hit enter, but hit control, shift, enter. And that will cause the entire area of output to give you the right answer. So that's the secret right there. And if you can remember that, quite frankly, the rest of it is gonna go on uh, fairly easily. So now that we have the secret, we can do just about any matrix operation in Excel that we want to. So let's do A times B transpose to get to there. First thing I need to do is B transpose. I've left myself a little space up here where I'm gonna do, do B transpose. So again, you need to know the output area. If B is a two by three, we need a three by two as my output area. So we'll highlight that. We're gonna say transpose, open my parentheses, highlight the array that we're gonna transpose, close my parentheses, and again, with the control shift enter, we get the transpose of matrix B. So now we're in a good situation to do the matrix A times matrix B transpose. Uh, need to know the output area. So again, a three by three for A, now a three by two for B transpose. So we're gonna have a three by two as our output. M multiply, we have already seen that one. Array A, comma, a second array down here, B transpose. Close the parentheses, control shift enter, and we get the solution to A multiplied by B transpose. Okay, so the last basic function that I'm gonna go over today is A inverse, really, imp or inverse, uh, really important to know how to do uh, inversions to, to matrices, uh, they empower us. So it would be the same order as the input, so a three by three will mean a three by three output. So I'll highlight the three by three equals M inverse, you see it there open my parentheses, identify matrix A as the input array, close my parentheses, control shift enter, and we have A inverse. 
that's all the basic functions. Good. I mean, there are other functions that you can do out there, uh, but if you can remember that you need to highlight the entirety of the output area and use Control Shift Enter to enter the function, you can do any of them. So let's just put this into the context of a, a, something more functional. So we're going to use it to solve a series of simultaneous equations. We have three equations with three unknowns in each, x1 through x3. And I have broken them down into matrix format uh, down below the question itself. So we have the coefficients in matrix A, a 3 by 3. We have the variables in matrix X, uh, x1 through x3, so it's a 3 by 1. And the output, uh, matrix B, is a 3 by 1. So the one thing we do know, again, if you have to go back to that matrix primer, uh, it'll be there. Uh, if uh, A multiplied by X is equal to B, then we know that X is equal to A inverse times B. So two-step process, get A inverse, multiply it by B, and we'll have the solution for X. So again, we need to know the output A inverse. A is a three by three. A inverse will also be a three by three. So let's highlight that area, a three by three. Start typing inverse. Oh, sorry, I forgot my M inverse. Type it correctly. Highlight my matrix that we're inverting. Close my parentheses and control shift enter we have the inverse then we can solve for x x is a three by one so we know that the output is a three by one and that's equal to m multiply we see this now a couple times so we're going to multiply the inverse of a by three by three comma by b a three by one close brackets Control shift enter and we get our solution down there so we can see how this is really useful to us so there you have it I mean uh, there are lots of useful uh, matrix functions in Excel uh, but they all work the same you have to know the output area you highlight the entire uh, space and you enter the function using the keys control shift enter anyway good luck with that in Excel like I said, we're going to pop over to MathCAD in a few minutes and we're going to do pretty much the same uh, tutorial using MathCAD and you'll see how uh, it deals with matrix operations there. Thanks very much.